And now we're gonna take a trip to Rustin. I actually want to take a look at Grambling, and I want to take a look at New Orleans because now we're going way back. Like Rustin was like my final destination in Louisiana before I came to California, but I actually want to look at Grambling because I did live in Grambling for one year, and it was a street that I lived on. See how close Rustin and Grambling is? It's like a thirty-minute drive. I didn't see Grambling State. Uh, Grambling State University right here. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, so that was a house I used to live in. That was not too far from uh, GSU. And I need to, I want to find that house. I want to see if it's still around. First of all, Grandma look updated though. I'll give it that. What is the dorms? They said they temporarily closed right now. Water tower. I guess they fixing them up. Yeah, shoot, what the hell? What the hell is that? Hold on, I gotta... Wish I can get a good look at that sign, but I can't. There we go. The, the facility, the Robinson Stadium, Jackie Robinson Stadium. Eddie Robinson Stadium, excuse me. Got to say, rest in peace, Coach Eddie Robinson. He was actually the coach for um, Grambling State University. He legendary coach. And he had a nature trail, which is like a nature trail. was like a, um, a hiking trail that we used to have. Where's the school at? I need to see the school. Western school. The Grambling School. I need to see that. He's the dorms, but I'm trying to see the actual school, though. We're going to zoom out of this. Johnson Place. College Ave. What a bridge at? There was a bridge. Gramlin Water Department. Uh, Gramlin City Park Pond. Not there. Eddie Robinson Stadium. That's not where I was. I'm trying to zoom in. I'm trying to get a good look at. These are the dorms. What a damn university at. This is just the dorms. Nursing Building, Charles Adam Hall, Oma J, Performing Arts. This is actually the. That's like the center where, like, recording artists used to go make. Uh, where they used to do concerts at and all that, they go there. The Fred, no, a matter of fact, it's here. The Frederick uh, C. Hobby Assembly Center. That's where they used to go. I see Grandma State University is right here. Um, I'm trying to see a Woodson Hall, Woodson Chapel. I think this is the the place. Simsboro. Okay, so this is the bridge right here. Okay, I was right. Okay, so this is the bridge. I used to live. I think this is the house. Simsboro Ave, Maple Street. Let's see. I think that's it. It's like a big white house. 
Yep, this is it right here. This is the house. It looked like a rundown shack, but it's actually hella big inside. And it's like a little crawfish pond in the back that we used to call crawfish in it. This is the country for real, bro. Yeah. Whoever lived there now done dressed it up a little bit. But, uh... You dress that up a little bit. The laundry mat was around the corner, right here. Let's see, old girl used to live over here. It was a cute girl that used to live over here, but uh, I never really got a chance to holler at her. Like I said, I was only arrested. I was only in Gremlin for like a a whole um, a whole year. They had a laundry mat right here for like the. Um, the residence, but they it looked like they didn't tore that down and put. I don't know if the, the laundromat is like behind it. No, these are actual apartments now. So okay, the laundromat got torn down. The laundromat that was on Maple Street they tore it down, so it's not there no more. That whole strip used to be a laundromat. They didn't tore that whole thing down and they didn't put it up as a apartments now. But I used to actually walk down the street. Walk down here. Oh, there we go. A time warp. Right, let me go back. Okay, never mind. This is back in 2013. So this might not even be here no more. The apartments might still be there, but they might look different now. We get to right here. They got an updated picture from March 2021. coin laundry okay so I think this is the laundry right now they probably moved it to right here but it looked like they got rid of it because I don't see no remnants they kept the sign but they didn't keep the actual laundry mat <laughs> oh shit that's funny but there was a shortcut through the houses yeah, like right here, it was like a shortcut that leads to the house. It looked like it, trees and all that then grew, so it's not possible to get through right now. I should cut some of the trees down, but they had that. They didn't made apartment buildings right here. A little corner store right here. I used to go to the corner store. Nelson Soul Food Cafe, salon store right there. Gray's Insurance, horrible. Grandma State University had it was one place they actually had a place where you could I think it was called Gramlin Junction no it was down this way I'm going down the right way so here okay so my a homeboy his father uh Big Steve, this used to be his barbershop. I don't know what they turned it into now, but this used to be a barbershop right here. They turned it into a Chinese food. Oh, never mind. He put a barbershop right here. His barbershop right here. This is a Chinese food spot, but this is the barbershop that he used to own. This is called what? It's just called the barbershop. That's all it is. But it's like a little shack right here. This, this was it. He used to own that barbershop. He had a run-down one that was, like, not too far from where we lived, but he bought that place, and he uh he made it into something. And this is the, this is the university clothing shop right here. They sell, like, Gremlin University tees. I think they got, like, Louisiana Tech tees and all that in there, too, but I think it's mainly just Gremlin stuff. I think that's a tattoo parlor. I could be wrong. Oh, never mind. It's a hair salon. Never mind, I got ahead of myself. Place called the G Spot. What the hell is this? I don't even want to believe what this might be. I, I, I know Rustin didn't get down bad when I. Oh, this the tattoo shop right here, G Spot. Okay. G Spot, Barber, and Beauty. Oh, that's a uh, that's a boutique. So they changed that up now. 
This is Real Tees. Another GSU spot. You know, there's a place down here where you could get it's a beauty salon uh, Jeans Cafe right here. I wonder if this is the place I used to come get. Cause I used to walk down here all the time and it was a spot. It was a white building. It used to have something called a Mojo Burger. It was like a a smashed uh, beef patty. It was like a long smashed beef patty. You know how they, how they make smash burgers now? It was like a smashed beef patty. That was a uh, and and the beef used to be dipped in like this sauce. It was almost like a gravy and all, but the burger was delicious as hell. It was so good. I used to always go there and get a Mojo Burger, bro. I don't know if this is the spot or if the spot left or tore down or something, but that definitely was this place. And that right there has always been there, but bro. Seeing the college, like, you know what's crazy? We used to hang out at this college, bro. Like, we used to literally hang out at the college. And we never got, like, checked or anything like that because it was like you had people of all different shapes and sizes going to that damn college. So it was like they didn't know who was who. As long as you had your backpack and you was walking around and you looked like you went to that school, you went to the school, <laughs> in their opinion. And Jacob B. Stewart. Okay, they got they actually got like a little store up in there. I don't know if we'll be able to see it if we go to the side, but like if you go to the side right here, they actually got like a little corner store in there. Five beta, what the hell? Five beta lambda, what the fuck? That must be a. A fraternity that I've never heard of. Or Phi Beta Lambda. Unless that's the three letter chapter of Phi Beta Sigma. I don't know. I know Phi Beta Sigma was. They must have updated that because. Because this was from 2021. That must be the three letters. Either that's a new fraternity or sorority. Or. Or what? Matter of fact, let's look that up. Phi Beta Lambda. Okay, never mind, it is. That's uh, Grambling State University. Five Beta Land. Okay, so this is a completely different organization. Is this a sorority or? It's mixed. Or oh, it's a fraternity and sorority. That's yeah, like some other. So this is like a new one. Either that's a new chapter or it's like, you know, town 1953. Okay, so it's something new. Cause they still got Kappa Alpha Psi. I, at the time, I was running around Grambling State University. They only had. Uh, Kappa Kappa Psi National uh, uh, Honorary Frater Fraternity um, They had Tau Beta Sigma Which is like the sister fraternity of it They had Alpha Alpha Phi Alpha They had Omega Psi Phi And they had Kappa Alpha Psi That was the only ones that was there I think they had IOTAs there too But I could be wrong But uh, Phi Beta Sigma wasn't no, no, like five beta, five beta Sigma is the only fraternity that wasn't at Gremlin. So I thought this was like a chapter for them at first. But this is a whole nother fraternity slash sorority. Because they got some organizations that's like that. They got both fraternities and sororities underneath the same letters. And it's looked like that's what it is. So. Mm. Clubs and organizations right here. 
social fraternities. Yeah, right here. Okay, so they got Kappa Alpha, Kappa AKAs, the Alpha Theta chapter. So they got the AKAs. They got Alpha Phi Alpha, the Delta Sigma chapter. Iota Phi Theta is there. Uh, Kappa Alpha Psi. Phi Beta. Okay, Phi Beta Sigma is here. Okay. Um, Omega Psi Phi. So they don't have deltas here. I know they got deltas at uh, Louisiana Tech University. I know they got deltas there. But they don't. The AKAs are here. The alphas are here. I know the omegas is here because my homeboy Miguel, he black, he's not Mexican, but Miguel, he turned into a and Omega, a lot of people that I knew back then, Lance, Anthony, Lance became an Omega, Anthony became a Kappa, Om Miguel became an Omega, I know a few dudes that I knew became Alphas, I'm like the only one out of our group that didn't join the fraternity, you know, that's just like a thing, boy, Rustin's so boring, you gotta find your own you know what I'm saying? And Rustin and Gremlin, they kind of like, again, they like right beside each other. So we always looked at them as like the same city. But they two completely different places. But yeah, man, Rustin. This place didn't change. Rustin and Gremlin, boy, they didn't change a great deal. So now to end this one, I'm actually going to go to New Orleans. We're going to go to New Orleans and check out my old, my original stomping grounds where I was first born. I was on the West Bank, bro. I got to, let's see. That's New Orleans. Damn. Let's just go to my old street, 769.9 Lee's Lane. Lee's Lane. They call it Lee Street, but it's Lee's Lane Avenue, bro. I don't know why the hell saying Lee Street, Lee's Lane Avenue, bro. Lee's Lane. We got the oh, here we go. Okay. I'll zoom in. It looks somewhat. I mean, the graveyard is still there. And they expanded it. I knew they knocked down the house that we had since I was over there. Now, on my street, it was only three houses on this street when I was a kid. And it looked like one of them got. It was like two shotgun houses. And. It was our house was like the biggest house on the street. It was like a family heirloom where like the bottom floor was made out of like stone or concrete or something like that. And the top floor was made out of wood. And um, after we left, the the city, I guess, thought the house was abandoned. Either that or my mama didn't pay the property tax on it or whatever the case may be because she owned the house. Um... I guess they knocked it down because they thought it was abandoned. And a bunch of trees and all that grew up on there now, man. Like, I'm just looking at this. Everything that I used to do, it was like a, a little camp pit that was over here that I don't even see no more. Well, I can't see it from bird's eye view. We might be able to see it if we get to street level. There was a dude back here that used to have a pool. Like right there. Um... I remember my cousin Roz, she jumped over the fence and went swimming in those people pool. Like crazy. But as that um Damn, just looking at this shit kinda make 
I ain't gonna lie, like looking at this street kind of make me want to tear up a little bit. I'm not even gonna front, bro. Yeah, the street somewhat looks the same. They changed up something because all this used to be trees. All of this used to be trees, bro. They even knocked down this down, to, I guess, to extend the cemetery, the graveyard, but all of this used to be, everything on this side used to be trees. All of it. And they had a little picnic spot that we used to go to right there. It was just like a little dirt spot. There was nothing there. We just turned it into a picnic spot. Like anytime we wanted to have like a little picnic, little kids on the block, we used to go in that little area and just have a little picnic and all that, bro. That was our thing. And ah, oh, the cemetery, bro. People thought I was lying when I said my very first playground was a cemetery. People thought I was lying when I said that. I wasn't lying, bro. On this street, you have to come into the street passing a cemetery and you exit the street passing a cemetery. At the time, I was only, you know, I was, I was born in West Jefferson Hospital. And... You know, just growing up on the street, I didn't have no friends because no other kids lived on the block until like I was in until I was like six years old. I think I was six years old when the kids first uh, moved on the on the block. Other kids moved on the block in the house across from us, and um, they used to steal a lot too. <laughs> And I heard one of the one of the kids, uh, their brother, Willie, he was so bad at stealing, they moved to Texas. And I guess he, something happened where he broke his arm. And when he got out the hospital, I guess he was walking home and he tried to break into somebody's house and thinking that they wasn't home, the dude was there. I guess Willie was hanging out the, the door or hang out the window or wherever he was. The dude shot at him, supposedly. Willie fell down. The gunshots missed him. And then he turned around. He was in a running position from what I'm told. And the dude, you know, shot him in the back as he was trying to run away. But it was probably at night. And the dude probably thought he was in danger. So he probably killed him based on that. But that's crazy, bro. So this picture was from September 2019, and I remember, bro, now, if I go back to Bird's Eye View, my auntie, Enel Isidore, she was actually buried right here. You see this little white square? That's her grave. I know my other auntie, Auntie Nail, uh, excuse me, Auntie Anona, she, uh, she got buried here too, but I didn't go to her funeral. I, at that time, I was just... You know, I went to funerals so much when I was at, at, a, at a young, young age. I went to funerals so much that I got tired of them at that point. And I didn't like, I didn't want to see her in no casket because that was the second auntie I had lost. And I was just like, I just can't, I couldn't do it. By that time, I think I was like 22 and I just couldn't, you know, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't go. I feel bad for not going now, but at the time my mind was just, it was just too much for me. But I remember this one. Cause me and my cousin Marvin, we was pallbearers for her from from my auntie Nail's funeral, and you know what's crazy? Wait, wait, why the hell the music stop? I just noticed. But anyway, my auntie Nona, she uh, we was pallbearers. And I remember we were sad because that was like the first big blow that we felt as kids. You know, we had a cousin, Brian, that we knew. And he got killed, but we didn't know him for long. We didn't know he was our family member. And we ended up, um, I don't know if this was at my cousin's father funeral, Big Marv, or it was at, I, ain't seen, I think it was at our cousin Marv's funeral. Uh, my our cousin, his father's funeral, I think. That's where I met Brian at. And then I think the following year, I found out dude was in front of his grandma's house. He got out the, the driver's side of his car. And another vehicle had drove by. 
and had uh had shot at him as he was trying to like jump over the hood and hit him in the head, man, bro. That was that was crazy. Finding that out that you got a cousin that used to change your diapers and all that. I mean, based on what he said. And my mama, I think she vouched for him, so but you didn't even get a chance to have that connection with him. And he was like you just found out about him a year and then just months later he was killed. Like that's you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. But ain't it but the first real big blow from somebody that we knew all our lives, ain't seen Nona. Right here. And I remember that day. Cause we were sad, but when we we was called up to be the pallbearers along with, you know, the other men, we was just teenagers being pallbearers for our auntie. And we was in the front of the line. And that casket was heavy, bro. I mean heavy for us, but we got through it. But here's the crazy part, man. We was so exhausted from carrying the casket that when we finally got it to the, you know, because it got like a little rack that they put the, uh, the casket on before they lower it into the ground. It was, um, like we were so exhausted, like we didn't even cry. We didn't have the energy to. I mean, we cried afterwards because, you know, that that one hurt. But during, bro, we couldn't cry at all. Our mind wasn't even on that. Like, we just wanted to get our auntie to rest because that casket was heavy. But, hey, we said we was going to be pallbearers, so we did it. Um, Yeah, that right there, bro. I don't know where my auntie Nona at, but, you know, like I said, I didn't go to the funeral, so I don't know. But I got one auntie and my mama left. Then the last two, it was four of them. They were the Jackson sisters. You know, but... It was crazy that the gate is still up. This gate done rusted like hell over the years. But the gate itself is still up. The fire hydrant still right there. Everything is still up, man. Now, I'm not going to lie. I did look at this street like a month before this. And at that time, this whole street was filled with like clutter like, like who was this okay so this grave wasn't rare this this grave is like something that i didn't know about i don't know it almost looked like a kid was buried there it looked like a child was buried there i, I, I don't know who and I remember this little walkway, bro. This was, this was literally my playground. I used to like treat this like a balance beam. I didn't know no better. I was a kid, and I didn't have no friends, so I used to be, you know what I'm saying, thinking that that was, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm just a kid trying to have fun. It was ridiculous, man. I used to sit on this thing and swing my little legs and crawl all over the edge of the, of the grave site where I was, I wasn't bad. I was just a kid looking for something to do because on this street, it wasn't anything to do. Like, mind you, it was only three houses. I was the only kid on the street at the time. That manhole cover, not even covered up. Boy, they, it hurt my heart seeing how bad this street is. Even though it was only three houses, this street used to have some life on it, bro. I remember one time, bro, we was, you know, when the kids next door first moved, we used to get into fights because for whatever reason, you know, we used to get into fights. And after we became cool, for whatever reason, other kids used to like mess with us and used to come to this. They used to mess with them. And since I was riding with them at the end of the time, I was going to fight beside them. That's just how it was back then. And I remember one day, it was like three kids. I don't know if they was in middle school or if they was in like, because we was all, in, at this time, I think we was all in like third grade, third grade or second grade. And it was a lot of some third graders or some fourth graders that came on that street to fight us. And um, they actually had knives on them. And I remember my cousin, I guess he knew them or whatever. But he was just like the mediator. If we're going to fight, we was just going to fight fair. 
he took the knife off the dude and he he had uh, stuck it into uh, this island right here. But back then, like we used to call it, like the neutral ground, like the neutral ground. You know, because it was in the middle. That was back what we called the neutral ground back then. But he stuck the knife right there and he just left it there. I don't know if they came back and got it or whatever, but yeah, but we never fought though. They just went off at that time. So probably saved our lives. Or cousin Jason, he saved our lives that day. But going back to a bird's eye view, I need to see this, bro. Look at this. The trees ain't that you can't even see a remnant of the house I used to stay in. The lady right here, her house is like you, you can see the shingles and all that coming off of them. The house looked like it's been skeletonized. If, if that's even a word. And this was a blue house right here that nobody lived in. So it really was only two houses that actually had families. These are two shotgun houses. The reason why they call it shotgun houses because it was narrow. And supposedly if you shot a shotgun through the front door, the bullets would hit all the way to the back door. So they called them shotgun houses. But yeah, it's... Bro, that's crazy. That's the other street. Well, these people need to fucking clean their damn pool. This map data from 2022, boy, they ain't clean their pool at all. Looking at all this. They pool clean at least. Oh, it's got a dirty pool in this area. They got a nice little backyard with solar panels. But no, nah, this street over here, the Hazley Street, Hazley Ave, I never knew the name of these streets. I just knew where to go. And um, I remember one day, it was during Halloween, me, Peppa, Heidi, Hannah, Lil Marva, the old lady that, you stayed, that stayed in this house right here, her name was Marva. She was an elderly woman. And all, of, all the people I just named was her grandchildren. We went trick-or-treating. And this was like the last year before, let's see, I moved in 96. This is probably 94, 95. But I remember that was the last year before they started saying, oh, people was putting razor blades and like uh, needles and doing stuff to the candy before they gave it to the kids and all that. It was like a year before that. And I remember we was going around with big brown paper bags getting candy from everywhere you could think i mean we was trick-or-treating we, and we went by ourselves because the neighborhoods is just that safe back then like you can let a a, a a little kid go from door to door and we knew our way from you know back to the street but we literally i'm talking about we had like imagine one of those brown paper bags just filled to the rim with candy because we knocked on the door so much but we literally went everywhere to get candy bro and I remember one street we went on. We went here. And I think we went down here. We didn't even make it to right here. And it was like, I mean, obviously as kids, we didn't know. But looking back at it, it was three big ladies that was dressed up as witches, right? And when we came to the street, they just ran out and just started running around and making like little weird wicked witch noises. Boy, we took the hell off, bro. If you ever, you ain't never seen a kid run with a big bag, a big heavy bag of candy like we did. We probably dropped a couple pieces. We ain't give a fuck, boy. That shit look real to us. Uh, it was running around. You see they fat jiggling in the night and all this shit, boy. That shit was weird as hell. <laughs> but damn, bro, the street I lived on ain't even. It doesn't even resemble. I would, I would like to go back to Louisiana and um, I'm excuse me, go to back to New Orleans and visit this area. Cause, man, this was, I'm sad to say that this is, in all, none of this was right here. It was like a farmhouse that used to be right here too, but that, that got covered up by trees. All this, bro. They actually had... Let's see. They actually had like a mechanical brick. Yeah, this little pipe right here. Y'all probably can't see it from right here, but uh, 
Let me go back up. Y'all can't see it, but this little pipe right here, you probably can't see it. We we actually used to cross that. We used to like swing on it like monkey bars, or we used to climb on top and like shimmy across it to get across the bridge, go to our friend's house and all that. But bro, this street ain't nothing the way it used to be. It used to be, uh, I forgot what they called it, but it was like a EMS emergency room. No. It was actually, they actually had at one point, um, the building that was over here at one point was like a bridge. It was like a mechanical bridge that you could cross, but I don't remember it too well because I know they tore it down after a while. I think I want to say maybe this is the building, but this, this this wasn't it. It was a building that was like back here where the bridge is, and a bridge kind of extended over the over the canal, and you could cross the street, like you could cross the the river or the canal. I fell into that canal one time. Me being stupid, playing around at the edge. It was like some fifth graders on the other side teasing me and all that. For whatever reason, I lost my foot and fell in the in the canal. I got out of there. It took some struggling, but I got out of there. But my mama whipped my ass that day, boy. She told me not playing at that damn canal. But man, so we on General Myers now. Shit, I gotta look up my elementary school because this General Myers Ave. I'm pretty sure that General Myers Elementary School is around here somewhere. Let me see. Harriet Tubman, right here, General Myers. So this school, Harriet Tubman Charter School. So Okay, so this is a charter school now, but I went here when I was a kid. It used to be a daycare center over here on the side. There wasn't no T-Mobile spot. Let me see if I can view this. This Metro, this used to be a daycare center. This Metro spot, but... Yeah. So this is Harriet Tubman Elementary. So at the time I went here, true story, at the time I was going here from 19, let's see, 19, I was born in 1988. I didn't start going to school, obviously, until like 93, 94 or something. Uh, I remember in 90, well, at the time I was going, the original name of the school was called General Meyer Elementary. They changed it. Let me see if I can find it. Jerome Meyer Elementary School. So New Orleans. Right here. Jerome Meyer Elementary. I know they changed it. It was called General A. Myers. And another and another school had actually took the name up. Well, I didn't know it at the time, but it looked like another school took the name up. I'm trying to see General Myers. And the name of the school was called General Myers at the time. I, I, I can't. General Myers Elementary. Let's see. Oh, you know what? We can look at that. Harriet. Harriet. 
Tubman Elementary School, right? Yeah. Harriet Tubman Elementary School. They got to be a wiki page about this because I think I read about it. They. Wiki. Harriet Tubman Will Elementary, right here, okay. No. Uh, Crescent City Schools. Harriet Tubman Elementary Charter School right here. Okay. So, let's see. The first school to be managed by the Crescent City Schools in 2011. Nah. Algiers, the Upper Ninth Ward. Paul B. Havens. Paul B. Havens. Um, okay. I'm trying to see helmet. This used to have its own web page. Oh, man, Landry Andrews Academy, Harriet Tubman Elementary School, Charter School. They say it's a charter school, but it was just Harriet Harriet Tubman Elementary School at one point. Adolph Meyer, that was the name of it. Okay, yeah, I thought it was General Myers, but a Adolph Meyer, Adolph Meyer School. Okay, so Adolph Meyer, 2013 General. Louisiana was a national historic place. It is an elementary school in Algiers where I grew up, Algiers, uh, New Orleans, at the Quadrangular in Plan. It is a two-story building, building designed by the New Orleans Parish School Board in-house architect E.A. Christie. It was built in 1970, 1917, expanded in 1924, both to Christie Designs. An annex was added in 1930. Enlisting includes the school, its annex, and caretaker's cottage or custodial colleges. The later on the southeast corner of 2020 Diana Street, named after Harriet Tubman in the 1990s, it is today one of the three public charter elementary schools operated by Crescent City Schools. So that's the school. Um, Cause I, I know they renamed it in the 90s so I was right about that I mean obviously I didn't forget I was going to the school at the time but I think it was around 19, 1993 1994 when they did that because I was in second grade I was in Miss oh I can't remember the name but it was an old light skinned lady with, with like a gray curly afro and she walked with a cane I, I remember one reason for its significance in its craftsman style design it, it is only one of the two craftsman style frame schools surviving in New Orleans so it's actually a registered landmark believe it or not I mean they're telling you it's a registered landmark so I, you ain't, I ain't gotta lie to you but but um It was named after Adolf Meyer, a Confederate general. So, yeah, I do remember them saying that, and they wanted to change it. Who advocated for the construction of Algiers Naval Station across the street, and who was a longtime United States Congress congressman. It was renamed Harriet Tubman as the Hel Harriet Tubman Elementary School uh, in the 1990s. Across General Meyer Avenue is the 48 acres in the Naval Station, which is listed on National Registry in 2013. So, I don't even think it's there anymore because shit, ain't nothing there. Unless it's that building all the way in the back, but still. They said it was across the street, boy. They, that's not even there. They didn't tore down the damn school. They used to have a playground out there and everything. It's just barren land. It, it used to be nothing but a big playground right there at first. 
They done tore down the whole fucking playground and just put picnic tables out there. What type of shit is that? Oh, they moved it over here. Okay, now I'm uh, They still changed it up, though, but damn. This used to be nothing but one big basketball court, nothing but concrete, so they put wood chips down and all of that. Yeah, they, they changed all this up. They used to be nothing but, nothing but just a regular metal fence that you would find at like a, around somebody's house. They didn't put this black fence up and put like a, I guess a, an electric gate right there. I don't know. Bro, this is my old school, bro. This is my... F this is my old school. I was here when they changed it to Harriet Tubman. Like, I'm having some nostalgic-ass flashbacks, bro. I barely remember anything about this street because I left when I was eight years old. I went back and forth every, you know, summer or whatever, but it's not the same. And Katrina knocked down a lot of these damn things back in 2005, so a lot of stuff. I don't know if this is the last little remnants of it or what it is. I say that's L.B. Landry High School, so I don't know. It's probably still operational. Um, General Meyer, my auntie lived not too long. My auntie, she moved, but let's see if we can find. Uh, I think I had my godfather lived on General De Gaulle. General De Gaulle. We got a bunch of shit on here now. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. <laughs> um, I don't even think I want to look for it. It's, just, it's too much I don't know. But it was around this area. And it, it, even from the little bit I do remember, it didn't change up. So it's not even the same no more. I got oil changes and everything. I don't remember, bro. If the levy, they had the levees over here, somewhere. If I can find the levees, I can find what it is I'm looking for. I don't see this the river, but I think that's it. I don't even remember what the hell. Cause my godfather used to stay on over here, and I'm trying to remember like where the levees was. Cause we used to go, we used to kick it on the levees every weekend. He used to pick me up when I was still living in New Orleans, and even when I went back ever after a certain, you know, for the summer, where I used to stay over at his house. But I never thought to think of the name of the place. So I'm all kinds of confused. Like, I don't even see where the water at. Bloods, boat rentals. Like, I dead ass don't even see where the water is. Mississippi River right here, okay. So he didn't live that far from the canal. I couldn't tell you where exactly he lived at because I don't. I don't know. We walked to the levees a lot. He lived over here somewhere. I can't. I don't. Know. I'm trying to think. I swear I can't think of it. I 
And I know he still got that house too. Distillery still there. Mississippi River. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm getting kind of flustered. I don't remember. But it is one place I want to check out. West Jefferson Hospital. Right here. So I wasn't that far. And you think if I went there, they would know? I don't know, bro, but... That was my old stomping grounds, bro, but... That was everything, bro. I done went back and I done looked at all my old, you know what I'm saying, all my old neighborhoods and all that. I just miss Louisiana as a whole, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. Tulane Center. I remember that. Caesar Superdome. Louisiana Superdome. I think they called it the BMW Superdome at first. WrestleMania was there. Yeah, they did. The Mercedes-Benz Superdome, excuse me. That was the old name of it. They call it Caesars now. But yeah, this was... Uh... Never mind. Maybe it was always the Caesar Superdome. I, I remember I went there once when I was a kid. One of my uh, my sisters, one of my other sisters, her ex husband, you know, he passed away. I think in like 2020, or like earlier 2021. Um, you know, he had brought me there. And we went to go just view the, we was on the, on the football field, just, it was like a fan day that they had. I miss the Saints, bro. I miss everything about this city, bro. Let us see, is Piglet Wiggly still around? Piggly Wiggly. Oh, it wasn't too far from where I was. If I'm not mistaken, I'm marking right here. change that up that used to be something completely different they got a Taco Bell KFC fusion store this wasn't the only Piggly Wiggly that they had 
They had one closer to where I live. Or I used to live, excuse me. But <sighs> yeah, I think that's uh that's enough reminiscing. I think I didn't had enough of this. So, um where I miss Louisiana. I literally miss the entire state. miss this place bro I don't think y'all understand when I say I miss this place I miss it the food the feel the smell all that I'm, I just miss it bro and not having been there so damn long bro it just it's one of them things that just like just get you forget one of these days I'm gonna go back and visit bro and I, I gotta do it I gotta do it I hope you guys enjoyed this trip down memory lane with me you know I hope y'all having a good you know spooky festive time uh, thanks for chilling with me on this Halloween and chill and um see you guys later man <laughs>